Hello everybody. In today's video I will show you how to put your local ABAP code into a GitHub repository. What we need for this, we need a GitHub account and we need an ABAP system, system where ABAP Git is installed. If you want to know how to do this, I link you a video how to install ABAP Git. So to check if ABAP Git is working, we can open the report set ABAP Git standalone and run it. Then we see a, a mask like this. In my case, I've already three repositories here and and for the next example, we need our own repository. So let's go to the GitHub account and click on create new repository. Then we pick here a repository name. I type here ABAP examples. Then a short description. ABAP examples for or from cast and code. Then we click on private because it's just for me, just for backup reasons. And yeah, we can add a readme file. The main is the default branch. Okay, then we can click on create repository. So after that, we see our repository. And the next step is we need the link to this repository. And for this, we click here on the green button code. And here we see the link and we click on copy URL to clipboard. Then we go back to our ABAP system. We click on new online repository. Here we paste the link, then we create a package. This package didn't, did not exist on my ABAP test system. It's completely new. So I type here set examples. And because the package is new, we have first to create the package. So we click on the button create package. Then the normal mask with some input fields to create the package. Click on OK. Then I create an transport request, short description for my request and I click on save and OK again. So now we have created the package locally on the system and next we click on the button create online repository and here we type the user and the password. So if you get an SSL certificate error here, I show you a, uh, in another program how to how to install the GitHub certificates in ABAP. So I link this video here, top right. Okay, we get an error. Okay, I think it's no longer uh, allowed to type in the password here. So we have to create a token. For this, we go to the ABAP account and click on settings. So then we need a token. So let's scroll down to the menu developer settings. Then on the left side, personal access tokens. Here we click on tokens classic. And then we click on the link generate a personal access token. So expiration 30 days is a little bit too short. So let's no exp let we type no exp okay GitHub strongly recommend this not so we choose here 90 days. Then we click on repo for the full control of private repositories. So let's scroll down to the other options. So we, we check the option copilot as well. 
Maybe we test something later with this. Then we have to type here node. I type here ABAP examples. Token. Then scroll down and generate token. Then we have here our created token. We copy this. And after that we go back to the ABAP system and we paste here the token. Click OK. Now we have our set package here in our repository. So let's try to add a program to this set example package in the transaction SE80. We go to the set examples package and we create a new program. So I call this set AA test, click on OK, save, OK, I add this to our transport request and now let's activate this program just to check if the program will be added to our repository. So we click here now on refresh and we see here the created test program. So to um, commit this new program we click on stage and then here we see the four files which will be committed to the repository if we click on this link. Okay we did. Now we have to add a command, a committer name and a committer email. So then we you can type here the author name and we click on commit. Okay, the files are committed now. So let's open our GitHub account. And let's check the repository here on GitHub. And double click on the source folder. And here we see our new created program. So it's all committed now. Okay, so um, let's go back to the to our ABAP system to ABAP Git. And here we see there is a link behind the program name and if we click on this link we have here an ADT link call and if you have installed the ABAP development tools in Eclipse you jump directly into your system and into your report, into your test program, for example. So let's try to add here another program to our set examples package. Set AA test two, for example, with a short description. And if we add the program here as well, we can activate the second program and now we can check if the second program is in our ABAP Git repository as well. For this we click here on refresh and we see the second created program. So if we want to commit this again we click on stage, we see here what we would like to commit and we click on the link add all and commit. Again short command test2 and we can click on commit. All files are added. And now the check again in our GitHub repository. We refresh or we go again in the source folder and here we see the, the test to program added to the GitHub repository. So that's a really cool way to back up your local ABAP source to the GitHub repository.
I, I show you this today on my ABA platform trial test system, which runs in a Docker container. And I recently lost this. This was my own fault and therefore also all my programs. So if I had loaded them into a repository before, I could easily get them back into my system now, but I didn't. Hence this video. So if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I'm always happy to get a few likes. Also write something in the comments. I always like to read them and I also reply to them. Take care and see you in the next video.